Good morning, folks. As always, any day above ground for me is a beautiful day. Give thanks and praise to your Creator, whoever you might conceive your Creator to be. Now, as for me, uh, I'm going to just jump right into this air because it's getting so friggin' ridiculous with these cops. I mean, it's getting ridiculous day in and day out. In Minneapolis, in Minneapolis, where they have that cop that put his foot in that black guy's neck and the guy is saying he cannot breathe. And you got four other cops standing around watching what he is doing and will not assist. And you can tell me they have good cops. Now, if they are actually good cops, they could have said, hey, bruh, that's enough. Take off your foot, that's enough. The guy can't breathe. They could have said something. They didn't say diddly squat. The same goes for Ed Garner in Staten Island when the mad truck hold him and he couldn't breathe. Same thing. The kid here in Georgia where he's jogging and they're going to run it on him killing. I mean, this bullshit got to come to an end. And like I said before, what goes around comes around. If they mess with my family, the same thing have to happen to your family that's all i'm saying because it's bullshit you're supposed to serve and protect not serve and kill your motto was to serve and protect not to serve and kill people like dogs and this marking is saying that black lives matter that shit gotta stop and we are humans too we be doing that from sinks marcus garvey mega eggers harry tugman Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Emmett Till. We've been marching and seeing this here for years. This shit got to stop. The marching got to stop. The protesting got to stop. Ratifications have to happen. We got to stop going and praying and not but that praying too got to stop. No, shit. They do the shit to you, do the shit right back to them. It's as simple as that. They're not my ears, I don't give a fuck. Well, whatever. I don't give a shit. You know, because it's ridiculous. It's actually, it's actually ridiculous. See, you can just kill some person for no apparent reason because you got authority in a bush and a gun and you're supposed to serve and protect. That's bullshit. So I'm saying, folks, listen, whatever they do to your family, you do back to their family. It's as simple as that. And the shit will got to stop. Because we ain't, we ain't getting the results. There's no results. The system is so twisted, there's no results. You know, maybe we find our best to live, um, like I said before. When we live by ourselves, it's no problem. When they come and live among us, it is no problem. But if you go and live among them, it's a problem. They will come and live among us and want to put their rules in our area. They will come in the hood and try to change the hood up to suit them. It's bullshit. They always want things to go their way. Like I said before, after there's some good people out there, when the suckers got to stay up, and fight for what's going on and see this injustice. Because if the shoe was on the other foot, you guys would want us to do the same thing. But you know what happened? Like I said before, and I will say again, what goes around comes around. It's called cause and effect. It has to happen. So you do unto others as you will have them do unto you. The shit going to come back around eventually. It has to come back around because it's called cause and effect. Every effect is a cause, every cause and effect. So it have to come back around. So this killing of black people for no apparent reason, it can happen to you. You know, when a white kid go to church and shoot up a whole church, what do you guys do? You take the kid to McDonald's or Burger King and give him a meal. But you're going to hold a black kid in the street and beat him like a dog. When they go in schools and shoot up the whole school with Cleveland, what do you do? You come, handcuff them, put them inside the car, release them after six months. But a black kid, go in the store and take a candy, you want to kill the kid like a little like guy's like a dog in the street. It's bullshit, man. Actually bullshit. And it have to come to stop. The burning of the city of Minneapolis, pff, they burned Chicago about four times already for the same shit. People are getting tired of the cops doing the bullshit. It's as simple as that. And if you have, if you have any nice cops out there, I don't see them. I don't see them. Because they're not coming forward. But you see what happened? <laughs> Like I said before, and I will repeat it one more time, bro. What goes around comes around. So eventually, it's going to come back to you. And when it comes back to you, 
it's come back worse than you do it to other people and you don't like it. You're not gonna like it. So all I'm saying is this here. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. And if you don't do that, the ratifications of that can be drastic. And black folks are getting tired of the BS. And the media is put it one-sided. The media always want to twist it the way that they see it, not the way that it really is. You know? So anytime black folks killing black folks, it's like you see, but I tell you, they're killing black folks. But think about it, folks. If we are 5% of the population and 95% of us is in prison, that means the raping, the child molesters, the incest, the homicides is over by people, but they don't put it on the news. They do not put that on the news. No, because they want you to think that white folks is all nice and gentle and loving and sweet. But if you got only 5% of blacks in this country, you got maybe 3%. Chinese, and you got the 8% maybe Mexicans, the rest is white people. You might tell me that white people don't kill white people, but you don't hear about it. They don't want to put it on the news because they want you to think that they're all loving and kind and sweet. But I'm saying, folks, this killing of black people have to come to a stop. This marching and, like I said before, black life mother, nah. Yeah, that shit got to stop. And you got to start to do the people what to do to you. It is simple as that. And Mark and Matt said it right. The only way you're going to help us is if you're going to help us with this struggle. If you're not going to help us with this struggle, we ain't want to part of you. And he says he's going to protect his family by what? By any means necessary. And we don't want no more black leaders. Nah. We want military people. To stop this bullshit. Because like I said before, it's only one planet we live on. Only want this little planet we live on. And we should have to get along and live in love and peace and harmony. And if that don't happen, nah. Then let's make up a civil war. Simple as that. Because the black man here yesterday walking on the street. Two women got pulled up at him with a truck. Because he got a camera in his hand and asked him where he's going. The man said, where are you going? Because I got a camera. But well, you don't live over here. We don't live over here. What I got to do with you? The black man walking the street with a camera, with a tape, and they can pull up on him with a boot on. To ask him where he's going, let them be cops. This shit is getting out of hand. It's getting out of hand. A woman in Central Park in New York. A guy called because the woman is treating the dog bad. She can call the cops and tell the cops the guy molesting her. And when they figured out, she was lying. The fire from her job and to take the dog from her. White folks are getting out of hand. They're getting out of frigging hand. The shit got to come to a stop. Folks, listen, I gotta go, man, because they're getting me frustrated and they don't like to get frustrated. So listen, what I'm saying is this here cause and effect. For every cause is effect. What goes around comes around. Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Is serve and protect, not serve and kill. Until then, folks, like I always say, peace out, one love, give thanks and praises to your creator, whoever you might conceive your creator to be. And for me, it's always any day above wrong. It's a beautiful day.